another YouTube video, everybody. It's been a week. It's been a week, and I'm pretty sure that all of you out there have had a week as well. You know those weeks where sometimes it's just like, nope, nope, I'm done. So anyways, I've been under a lot of uh, sewing pressure lately and a lot of sewing deadlines, and sometimes that can give you like creative burnout, you know what I mean? So sometimes it just feels good to come look at some of the previous things that you've made yourself or for other people and creatively inspire yourself. Because, I mean, you can scroll on the internet all day long for inspiration, but that's not where I get my inspiration from. It comes out of my head. And sometimes when I'm feeling burnt out, like, you know, burnt out, I'm going to come and I'm going to look at the things that I've made myself in the past or the art projects for fashion shows. And also So Fierce has been helping me a lot with that lately. Because we filmed that, like I said, almost a year ago. So watching the things, the big art projects that I created for that show have been making me feel a lot better and giving me creative inspiration that I have been sorely lacking lately. So anyways, I thought I would go back uh, and profile something that I made for a fashion show a few years ago now that you probably didn't get a good close up. So if you haven't guessed, welcome to another edition of Weird Stuff That I Made. So anyway... This is a very cool headpiece. A lot of the stuff from that fashion show is gone. I've given it away or sold it or whatever, given it to models, what have you. But this I kept because I've worn it occasionally. It's, it's good for some things. This is interesting. Get ready. Here we go. Da, 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 da. Is this not cool? It is a crown made of giant spikes and dead things. So this is actually a really cool project. And like with most of the stuff that I make, I just got random stuff and kind of assembled it together into something that I thought was really cool. So this started with a vintage hat base. Actually, let me flip the camera around and show you so that I can describe it as I go. Hang on. All right, so here you can have a good look at it sitting on my beautiful red velvet, whatever this thing is. So anyways, this just started with a vintage hat base, like I said. So you can see it here. This is part of the original. Uh, I think it's like from the 60s, one of those like wide kind of headband hat things that they had with like the veiling on it. So I ripped that off. I bought this for $5 out at the Aberfoyle Market. And then I just attached a wide elastic strap. I just measured that on my head and stitched it down because I knew I was going to put some weight on it and it wouldn't stay on as it was. So then where do I get these giant spikes, you might ask? These are actually... Can you hear that? They're plastic. So what these are, believe it or not, these are uh, lug nut covers for uh, transport trucks. So I have a friend that's a truck driver, and he went to a truck stop where they sell these. Two different kinds. See? You can see those two are one kind. These two are another kind. So he went to a truck stop where they sell these, and they, they're they threaded on the inside. They just screw onto uh, the lug nuts for transports. So anyways, I just drilled them full of holes. I just took my drill, drilled them full of holes, and then stitched them to the underlying headband structure. So I did that in the back. That's the first thing that I did. And then I have this box of dead things that I keep around. So these are all just dead things that I found you know, while walking or that people have given me. So we've got, these are just assorted, assorted bones. I don't know what they are, but I thought they look cool sticking up like that. And then we've got, you come in close here. This is my favorite, this guy. So this weird, partially mummified frog. I thought he was cool. Uh, there's a duck bill right there. That's a duck bill. Uh, that's a giant tooth, this thing here. I don't know what that is. Maybe from a cow or something. That's a giant tooth. Uh, we got a cat skull. I think that's a raccoon. A raccoon skull, and that's part of, I don't know what that is. You know, just random things that you find dead on the ground. And then these are various little little vertebrae and stuff that I just used to fill in the holes. And then to cover at the front, this was just some trim that I bought at the fabric store that I thought was cool. It was black and had a little sparkle, a little bit of chain in it. And this is just held together with some, like, really, really strong glue. I don't know if you guys out there ever use goop, but it is totally amazing. So that's basically it. I literally just used a vintage hat base, like I said. I uh, got four spike, plastic spikes for transport trucks and then just put dead things and kind of glued it all together and put an elastic strap on it so that it'll stay on my head. And like I said, this was worn for my post-apocalyptic fashion show. I've worn it a couple of times since for like art projects or whatever. It obviously works better for somebody with hair or if I'm wearing a wig because like, you know, when you're bald, you end up with like a big thick elastic strap on the side of your head, which sometimes isn't a problem depending on what you're wearing. But anyways, I just, I thought I would make this video to hopefully give you guys out there some creative inspiration, make art today, do something cool, pick up that weird rusty shit in the parking lot, go into the bush and find dead things, keep them in a box, 
you never know. And this is why I love having boxes of like random craft supplies around because you never know when the inspiration is going to hit you and you just need to make something like really awesome just for the sake of making art. Because, you know, art and creativity, that's what makes the world go round, in my opinion. And we certainly need more of it. So hopefully this weird dead thing headpiece inspired you guys out there to do something a little creative today. And I hope you liked this video. And if you did, if you could give it a thumbs up, which I can't because one thumb is holding the camera and the other one's holding this. So you're going to have to do it for me. If you want to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't already, that would be amazing. If you want to follow me on any of the things, I have all of them. We're going to link them all below. Uh, let me know if you've been watching along with So Fierce. I know I've been saying this every video, but I'm terribly excited about it. Let me know what you've been thinking about it, who you're rooting for, what some of your favorite outfits would have been. And uh, also, while you're at it, let me know what's your favorite thing I've profiled so far in weird stuff that I own is because I haven't done that many videos, but I've got a profile of a few cool things that I've made. I'm interested to see which one you guys like best. So I think that's it. Like, subscribe, follow me on social media if you want to. Oh, you can buy me a Kofi if you want. Kofi.com slash MadMapSynth supports the weird shit that I make and also the maintenance of my sewing machines, which I abuse the ever-living hell out of. So I think that's it. And I will see you around for the next edition of, say it with me, weird stuff that I, not even weird stuff that I own, weird stuff that I made. If I screwed that up, I'm sorry. You know what time it is? It's like 6 a.m.